So we're on hole nine and all of a sudden the course has a very different feel again as we work around the Heathland holes. Some people find it really hard to see the lines here. There aren't the same types of landmarks, the fairway is difficult to spot and there's really deep heather and rough offline which is why this is one of the most difficult holes on the course. We're here on the yellow tees, there's a little bit of water in front and you need to carry it around 100 yards to find the fairway. But put that out of your mind and focus on the middle of the three bunkers that you can see. It's about 300 yards away but that's the perfect line to get you onto the fairway. The next shot and now you can see the hole and lots more bunkers. From here the safe line is towards the left hand side. Aim at the left hand green side bunker but keep out of the left hand rough. Now you can attack the pin. It's another steeply sloping green so if you're going in with an iron it should stop quite quickly. There's lots of punishments for wayward shots. Three bunkers and more steep slopes for tricky chips, especially if you're long. Lay up short if you're not feeling confident enough to hit the green. Australian Noel Ratcliffe took the second of his European Tour wins at Fulford in 1987. No junior golf for Ratcliffe, he only turned pro at 29 and didn't even own a set of clubs until he was 21. How weird is that? 